let's add some Redux logic to this application that handles setting our goals in props at the same place as we currently log them in the console. Essentially, we'll have an action creator that sets the goals globally in our store. Recall that we should approach this in three steps. First, let's add a new constant. Head to constants.js and let's declare a set goals constant. Set goals equals set goals. Now let's declare an action creator within our actions index.js. We'll need to import our new constant, of course. So set goals. I can see already I still have to save the constants file. So make sure it's saved. And let's export a new function called set goals. It'll have one argument, the goals that we of course pass as our array. Let's define a new action. Its type will be set goals. And then its data will have a goals key mapped to the goals that we pass as our parameter. And then we'll use our ES6 shorthand so that way we don't have to specify that the goals is goals because the key and value are exactly the same. So let's now return that action. Great, that was the second step. Now time for the third step, adding a reducer. Now let's take a moment to think how we're gonna add this reducer. We could just have another case in our default reducer already that handles setting the goals with set goals. However, this would mean changing our initial state logic from user to something more extracted and global. So rather than doing that, let's opt for a different approach. Let's split the reducers into two reducers. One will be called reducerUser.js and another called reducerGoals.js. So let's rename this default one to reducerUser.js since we can see that we're handling our user object in this one. Let's rename it to reducerUser.js. Then we'll have a new file called reducerGoals.js. Our goals reducer will import set goals from our constants file. Don't forget to go back one directory to constants. Now we need to export by default an anonymous arrow function. So here's that anonymous arrow function. It will have two parameters. First, a state parameter set to initial empty array because our goals will always be an array as we're making them in our Firebase listener in goalist.jsx. And then we'll have an action as usual for a reducer. Follow the same pattern and switch on the action.type. Then we'll handle our first case, which is set goals. Let's grab our goals from the action. And then we'll return those goals as our reducer state for goals. And don't remember, switch statements always need a default case in which we'll return our state, which is that empty array. Let's save. And great, looks like we have set goals set up for us. Now, there's one problem though, you may have already pointed it out. Now we have no default index.js file, so our overall reducer is going to be missing. Let's fix that issue in the next video.